Tell us a bit about the route. You start way up north, don't you, in Chiang Mai? Yes. I've got uh, a map here. I mean, it's a, a long way. It's uh, a little over 2,300 kilometers. Uh, we start at the Top Bay Gate in Chiang Mai. We do a nice loop around the city and then head out of town. Uh, make our way down to Patong Beach, Phuket. Uh, but we have some days off, too, for sightseeing and some rest and relaxation. A uh, day off in Sukhothai, a day off in Ayutthaya, a day off in Kanchanaburi. A day off in Patrup Kiri Khan and a day off in Khao Sok National All the Park. Nice places, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But how many days have you been sort of on the, on the bikes and on the riding? It's 27 days total, 22 days of riding, and five days off. Right. What have been the highlights for you? What's the best part? Uh, well, I, I work really hard all year putting this together and, and so forth. The best part for me is riding and, and seeing Thailand. I, I never get sick of seeing the beautiful scenery we see all day long, just about every day. It's, it's gorgeous. But it must be satisfying finishing and making complete the whole thing. <coughs> yes, right? yes. And, uh, and also, when, we, when it sinks in that we've raised so much money for charity, and this year we, we went over 1.1 million baht for Operation Smile uh, Thailand, uh, helping children with cleft lip and cleft palate, and also the uh, Foundation for the Blind. That's the main aim, is it, to raise money for the charities? That's our main goal, yes. Uh, I, I own a bicycle touring company. We can do bicycle tours anytime, anywhere. Um, but our goal of the Tour to Thailand is to raise as much money as we can for local charities. And that's raising it through both the participants and, and your sponsors, yeah? <coughs> Yes, primarily the sponsors support the ride, and the participants have to raise money to be able to join the ride. And then uh, when they pay the registration fee and so forth, and we put all that together and um, you know take care of them during the trip. So it's a really nice trip. It's you know very comfortable for them, and then you know they have to work hard. And, and they're they're not only raising money for the charity, but they're raising awareness, and that's very you know important too. Well, we filmed you here on the last leg from my cow, the straight fast part on a dual carriage or a highway. Mm -hmm. Was it dangerous? You know, you've got a lot of fast traffic going past you. It is. Um, people seem to be in a rush to get somewhere for some reason, but once they get there, they never seem to be in a rush. Uh, but, you know, um, we're used to riding on roads. We, we normally ride on, on very small roads, back roads, beautiful scenery, things like that. And people, when they see a group of foreigners, they're so friendly and, you know, like to slow down and say hi and all that. So it's really quite a safe ride with our support vehicles, you know, sponsored by Toyota and, and, and all the other, you know, the stickers that we have on them, listing all of our sponsors and what we're doing, and people stop and read it. So we get a lot of attention, which makes it a lot safer for us. Um, and, of course, you know, the riders are pretty used to, to riding on the road. So um, people in Thailand generally, they're used to, you know, people being on the road, motorbikes, food carts, uh, you know, push carts, people walking. So it's, it's, it's really a great place to ride. We saw you going past the Heroines Monument. This year you couldn't go around the circle because of the holiday traffic, but uh, yes. it's still nice here to go past significant monuments, yeah? Exactly. And, um, it's, it's a nice monument, but actually uh, what I noticed when we went through is with the barricades up, it made it even safer for us because you know, it's, it's tough for a, a bicycle to pull into a circle and battle, battle it out for space with a car or a truck. So. And then we saw you turning right near Tesco Lotus, a big traffic junction. Again, that's tricky too, isn't it? Stopping everyone, getting all together and then going on. Yeah, well, we, we try to leave a support vehicle at the corner so they know to, to turn. Um, and we you know, pretty much let people ride in their own, in their own style. So, you know, they, they know if they're going to turn, they know they have to look for traffic behind them and make sure it's clear and, and so forth. Yeah. You know, most of the riders are pretty experienced in, in, in doing some riding on the road and, and they know the rules of the road, so. Is the toughest part this last Baton Hill coming up it? And then the sweetest part, is it going down it? I would have to say, yeah, I, I thought my heart was just going to jump out and say, I'm out of here, you know, because um, it was beating so loud and so hard, and, you know, with my weight, I'm, I'm not a slim guy. If I could do this more often, I would be, maybe, but, uh... You've got to get over the years, haven't you? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's not so bad. I know what to expect, and uh, my legs are plenty strong, and, but, yeah, it is an intense climb, even though it's short, but, yeah, the downhill is, is a lot of fun. Tell us about the participants and these two guys who come with you from uh, from America. Well, we have uh, participants come from all over the world, and we also have a lot of local participants join us, especially the local Thai clubs. But um, uh, these two guys in particular, you know, have become really good friends of mine over the past month. Uh, they're visiting from America, and they uh, used to work together at Starbucks, and they, they still work at Starbucks, but not together. 
and they got a lot of support from uh, Starbucks Corporation to come here and take the time off and all that. So we're, we're really glad to hear about that. Well, Travis, first, what do you think of the tour, and then particularly this last leg in Phuket? It's been simply amazing. Um, between all the way from Chiang Mai to Phuket, it's been nothing but gorgeous scenery, wonderful people. Um, and today, an amazing hill, um, to say the least, for sure. <laughs> yeah, hot weather today, too. I mean, it's, it was cool for the last week or so, I guess, but today it really warmed up. It warmed up on us, but, you know, it's, it's been nice. It's, you know, it's freezing, freezing cold back home with snow and rain, so to see the sunshine has just been wonderful. Did you bring your bikes with you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we brought them uh, all the way from overseas and, and brought our babies with us, so it's, <laughs> couldn't leave home without them. <laughs> Special mountain bikes or you know multi gear. Uh, we have uh, both of us are riding road bikes, so uh, we we had the slick tires and had some some bumpy roads and terrains to kind of go through. But it's it's been pretty nice having them. Well, Adam too. You're also with Starbucks, yeah. Yeah. Um, how have you enjoyed the trip and, and what's the, been the best part for you? Uh, it's been wonderful so far. I mean, it's going to be something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Definitely tell my grandchildren about. It's been a blast. And, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a, li a relief to be done now, but at the same time, it's kind of sad. I mean, we're going to be, uh, you know, s separating from the group, and it's going to be uh, sad saying bye to everybody, but the whole thing's been amazing. Did you bring family or friends along with you? It's like a holiday as well? No, not at all. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, I'm looking forward to going back and seeing my family as well. Showing them the video. Exactly, the yeah. <laughs> the video and all the pictures I've taken, yeah, they can't wait to see. Did you raise money too through your sponsor? Um, yeah, both of us raised money. Um, basically, just people in our community. Um, a lot of customers from Starbucks actually were really willing to help out. And we're hoping next year, if we're able to do the ride, um, Starbucks will donate $1,000 each. So um, if we decide to do the ride next year, they'll hopefully be able to do that. Right, so we'll yeah. bring along some more cyclists too, yeah, yeah, make definitely. it a big crowd. Yes, yes. Um, Better come back then to, to Chris, finally, how much money do you think you have raised this year and, and, and total over the whole year? Um, I know that this year we've gone over 1.1 1 .1 million, but um, the total over uh, all six years has been about 5 million back so far, but we expect those numbers to really start growing as more people find out, and, and this year's ride was so great, and the riders are so uh, enthusiastic about going home and telling other people about it and the support from the sponsors has been much better this year than in the past and so that's going to you know, you know, propel us to uh, <coughs> really uh, boost our marketing uh, capabilities and let people know around the world about it. So. So you'll be doing it again next year? Absolutely. Absolutely. December, you start again? Uh, yes, we've already set the dates. It's going to be December 8th through January 3rd. It will be the same ta uh, time frame, same like days of the week, uh, but it will be just to uh, move back one day. And then so here again in Phuket? He'll be uh, uh, arriving here in Phuket again on Sunday, January 3rd, 2010. So if people 